this video is gonna be about the absolute most important tool for anyone that works with battery electronics and that is a multimeter. For what I know, there are two big brands, at least here in Sweden. The big, one, really big one is Fluke. I think it's an American company. Company I really don't know much about it. It's uh, very popular among electricians. But the other company that I really like is Unity. That's the one that sold in uh, most hardware stores like uh, Shell and Company and Klaas Olsson. You can find Unity at them and maybe even some more some really expensive flukes, but I think U Unity is a Chinese brand, but they make uh, really good products. We use them a lot. I buy only Unity. Uh, I never tried fluke. I think it might be have some advantages for AC electricians, but if you want a good multimeter at a reasonable price that can last your whole life, then I think Unity is a good choice. Of course, if you're gonna be using your mul multimeter every day, it will not last your entire life. But if you use it like once in a month, I think you go with a good Unity and you will be basically set for life. You have to change the batteries every 10 years or so. And of course you can choose a 9 volt lithium battery, non-rechargeable lithium battery. And then it will basically last for 10 years. At least the battery will. Here we are probably going to be selling Unities in our store. There are so many comp companies already in Sweden that sells them. We are a little bit unsure if you got which uh, we think 131 is the series that we absolutely like the most. It has all the common functions you want. And we have C and B that we're gonna be testing a little bit. One of the specific we specifically bought for it's um, it should be able to test temperature. Very few of the unities actually have that feature. One of these is supposed to have that, but I'm going to show you my multimeter and this is a special edition with googly eyes that you cannot find anywhere. It's made by a local artist here in Stockholm named Dr. Andy and he made a lot of other art installations in my office when I wasn't looking. But this is my multimeter. I had a really reliable unity that broke down and I couldn't find that model anymore so I went to Shell & Company. Um, they didn't have that, but they had this one at a lower price. It's a UT6, sorry, UT61D. It has auto range. You do not have to have auto range. I actually prefer multimeters that don't have um, auto range uh, because they de then they will measure only about 2 volts to 100 volts and not show a lot of random numbers like this. You can easily mistake this for 36 volts or 3.6 volts or anything like this, but this is millivolts and if you don't have auto range, you will actually see a zero. Uh, I, I never measure amps with a multimeter. We have other stuff for that and I don't use Hertz. That's probably just for AC. But the two things you do need in a multimeter is the ability to measure voltage, DC voltage, there are probably a lot of good AC um, multimeters that do not measure DC because they're made just for electricians. And the other function, function you need is um, the resistance function and especially the signal or beeping sound as I call it. You can check continuity by, the, there's the sound logo. And you, you, you can measure if this part is connected to this part, you just measure that. If you want to know if this scissor is connected uh, electronically. No, it's probably not. Those are the two functions. Most multimeters have them, but some maybe not. Uh, but standard voltage up to 100 volt is okay. I use this daily. I have removed the cover and it's very used and yeah, but it still works and it gives me the answers I'm looking for. I never replaced the battery in this as well, original battery. Uh, it's very precise. The only thing I don't like is that it's not showing zero when there's obviously nothing connected. It's just the resistance in the wires that, you know, spooks around. So if you don't like this one not being zero, then go for something that's not out of range. Another function that is very important is out to turn off. Because you, if you do not have that, you will have to replace batteries quite often. And also when the voltage is low, it still works 
but it might show you the wrong voltage. If it has too low voltage, it cannot measure DC, DC electricity efficiently and it might show you wrong. And that's not really good if you work professionally. Other than that, there's not many more functions you need. And uh, you can also measure amps, but you have to remember that to measure amps, you have to switch to the amps outlet, milliamps and microamps, and this is for 10 amps. Uh, I really like the 131 series. You cannot go wrong with them. Don't buy any one of their absolutely cheapest ones. I thought we bought something from them that was crap. It was below, it was one of the cheapest one, below 20 bucks. That one was kind of crappy. And we also bought one that's really mini to the size like this, maybe even this size, but that one didn't have removable prongs. So when the prongs broke, you have to you know, throw away the machine. And if you're gonna be working with batteries, you need these tiny, fine tips. You really need these fine tips to be able to measure into the yeast, T's and everything like that. You will not be able to do much with these kind of large probes. And we import these ourselves because we haven't found any place in Sweden where they're actually sold at a decent price. I think Fluke have one of these pairs for 20 bucks. These break often, they're very easy to bend. So we destroy like one pair every six months or so. So if you're gonna buy these, buy at least two or three and a good multimeter for at least $20 or 20 euros. And do not buy any multimeter from China. I did that mistake as well. Uh, first of all, they're not gonna be that exact because they are not made to be exact, they're made to be cheap. And the second problem with them is that they break kind of fast in just a few uses, a few weeks, and maybe it breaks even if it's a more expensive one. So never trust any multimeter from China that's not a recognized brand like Unity. This is the thing you need if you're gonna have anything to do with batteries. It has so many uses. You can also check in your AC outlets and see how much volt. We have really high volts here. Uh, sometimes I think it damages the chargers. When you're gonna check the AC outlet, you actually want the bigger probes. Uh, because these ones are very thin, but it works. We have like 242 volts here, and these are very secure, so you have to press them both at the same time. Let's see. No, my outlet here is about 230 volts. An outlet, yes, three meters from here is 241. And that one is where, uh, where our testing station is. And sometimes the chargers just stop working for no reason until we unplug them and plug them back in. So it's really good to have a multimeter for so many things. If you're into electronics, you must have a good multimeter by Unity or maybe Fluke. If you find, find something you really like there that Unity doesn't have. And if there are any other big brands that you know you can trust, then please let me know.